You know, when you look at what's bringing down a lot of cities, it's it's um, big unions and big bills, and a lot of that happens to 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 be around public safety. But you know, my feeling of public safety certainly goes deeper than just the police. That's the end. Public safety starts in the middle. Public safety starts with education. Public safety starts with health. Public safety starts with children, youth, and their families, and recreation, and museums. Uh, that's where it starts. By the time they get to the police, we have failed them. Well, you know, the, the, about our budget, it's six billion dollars, but there's only a billion dollars or so of that that's really discretionary. And when you consider that the Department of Public Health is probably over half of that discretionary spending, then they certainly have been hit hard. Uh, and our Department of Public Health um, is just that. They deal with the health of, of the citizens of San Francisco and certainly with the poor. Um, and so though that's, they have been pretty hard hit. Uh, and that's kind of where we, we, we try to go back to children, youth, and their families. Um, not as much because, you know, they do have a fund, the children's fund that helps them out. So I would, I would say um, basically our public health department, uh, they've been effective in, um, in certainly advocating. Mm -hmm. And I, I think they've been um, effective in, in getting money back. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. No, I don't think debate hurts anybody. I mean, maybe debate for debating's sake. But I think these debates have shown some light on things, and so I don't, I don't think it's hurt anybody. I, I think what we did see is that at some point those, not, those community organizations said, look, we need the police, and we need the fire. And in a lot of instances, we, we partner and we work together. Well, it depends on how they're used. I mean, I, I think if we did not have that process and we, we just kind of, maybe this two-year budget will help us prioritize better and talk about things. But the budget, the ad back process has really changed. Um, when I, I think the first year we did the change, I was chair. And what we try to do is not be specific on organizations, but departments. And I think that's, that's a better way to do it. I think there needs to be a check and balance. I think mid -year, there needs to be a discussion on mid-year cuts. I think there needs to be more dialogue. As far as more power, I think the board really has um, some power. If, if you have, if you decide on discussing, and, and maybe there needs to be a better uh, process mm -hmm. so that we could have the debate and the discussion. Last night, again, that was Tuesday at the board meeting, I think John Avalos put some things forward after discussing with the mayor that could give more dialogue about mid-year cuts that the board could say, have an opportunity to say, to understand, all right, this is a number we need to cut. What we're going to do is look at maybe some changes that we may make in priorities. Well, yesterday with what John Avalos put forward, um, it seems as if it were a, um, a recommendation and also a um, some commonality b between the mayor and the board so that they both came to the conclusion that yes this would be helpful I don't know that it is in stone and because that would be in the charter amendment because at this point the mayor can make those decisions and so I think it was an agreement um, that was reached and put in writing and that will go forward with the budget well I think you know last year uh, and the, last year, we really made um, a, an effort to say, look, we need some say in this budget. You know, we've never had really a budget like this. It's never really been this bad. And so I think now a lot of things that are coming to the front, forefront about the more we need to um, talk and dialogue together. And so I think that um, it's to his best interest. It's to his best interest. And as far as the, the not trusting, that's why they did put something in writing. But I think at some point, you do have to have a level of, uh, of trust, professionalism, uh, that we all are on the same page. We need to come. This is our budget at the end of the day. And the more we discuss and talk about our budget at the end of the day, the better it will be for everyone.